What's up guys and welcome to Silent Hill the Short Message. I uh I don't know anything about this. It literally it's like two o'clock in the morning and I just found out that this thing had this demo had released. I guess it's a demo? Maybe it's a demo? It might just be straight up a game. But uh I read online that it looks like it's gonna be sh it seems to be short. Well, short-ish. But, um, yeah, let's just go ahead and get into it, I guess. Seeking a connection with others is a sign of weakness. It's running away. Aww. The strongest animals don't form groups. They act alone and need only themselves to survive. Those who betray themselves to fit into a group are pathetic. There's no beauty in living like that. I want to be strong on my own, without a group. If there were only someone who would understand that to adult me. Holy shit, this game looks crazy. I already feel bad. <laughs> this is already depressing. <laughs> is your hair gonna be in the camera, though? have to use the phone light. Oh, that's... Oh, I already hate that. <laughs> but... Wasn't I just... I want to show you something. Can you come to the villa? Oh, yeah. Maya told me to come here. Is there anything in here that I can... Do before you go out the door into Spooky Town? Guess not. The sound effects can already fuck off, bro. Fuck you, door. Hello? This model. Is it this building? Probably. Four two seven four two six seven five six four two one three. Plan to rebuild Kettlestad an overview. Kettlestad is a town with a long history as a thriving border stronghold. In recent years, those in their twenties have begun leaving in mass, causing concern. The aim of this wide-scale project is to rebuild Kettenstad and restore it to its former glory with the help of Chinese investment firms. The theme is revitalization. The abandoned properties developed by Japanese corporations in 2008 have long been a problem, but by repurposing them, we can cut costs substantially and better realize our vision for a new Kettenstad. 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 Wow. So this place didn't always suck. Our parents dreamed of this? Plans to rebuild Kettenstad have suffered yet another major setback as instability caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. Holy shit, this is being based in, partially in real life? Has reduced interest from foreign investors. Previous plans to jumpstart the town failed to materialize, owing, or owing, the monet owing to the monetary instability caused by the 2008 global financial crisis, which forced the plan to involve Japanese corporations and financial institutions to be reconsidered. 
Two attempts to rebuild. Two failures. Due to unfortunate external circumstances, Kittenstad has struggled to bounce back with increased unemployment. The city council is considering ways to revitalize the economy by drawing skilled experts to the area, but as of yet, no effective measures have been implemented. Everyone's losing their futures. That's all adults are. A slave to the system. You're seriously talking about government issues when that door just opened on its own? Are you not... Are, are we not in the same situation here, madam? Wait. Red tape on a door. I know that's bad. I know that's that's a bad thing, right? Red tape on a door? Where are you, Maya? Isn't that some kind of superstition thing? Red tape on a door? Hamburgers. Shut up. Oh great. It's locked. Oh my god, the sound design in this game is fucking insanity. I was about to say, don't you fucking call me. Ooh, flower. Oh, not I'm getting out that way. I've always been trapped. Is that a metaphor for your. uh. your mental state? September 28th, 2021. Notice of provisional meeting. To all Villa residents, we have received many inquiries about the management of this building. After the recent news, we would therefore like to hold a meeting to explain our policies more formally. We hope you could find the time to attend. <laughs> oh my god, it might, you know. Maya? Don't jump scare me, game. My heart can't take it right now. I'm already, like, on edge. Hello. Pretty painting. Did Maya do this? CB. Cherry Blossom. That's Maya's signature. She's... amazing. Oh, flashback. The city is a blank canvas, begging for us to paint it this with our live hopes action? and dreams. I want to show the hidden side of girls. Their impulses, their urges. This is live action. What are you hiding inside? Don't worry about what people think. Be proud. Okay, good. Uh, I was sitting there. I was kind of worried that she was going to turn into some kind of like demon monster and then. How could I ever be proud of myself? Start chasing me or some shit. Game, don't you fuck it. No, crying babies, please. Fuck off. For a graffiti art or spray paint and a blank wall or. All you need in Ket instead. The walls of particular part. There's a lady talking in the background. Particular apartment buildings though, the cameras for several artists with a new police is showing up every day. Social media stars, CB features her work here. Given that her passion for flowers is only fitting that her name is CB, which is short for cherry blossom. CB's architecture used to captivate the hearts of the young, so we reached out to her for comment. Keep your eyes fixed on her new piece. She had this to say. All I'm doing is showing what these girls feel on the inside, but I can't show on the outside. 
If any of them connect with a girl in the art, it's probably because they're experiencing the same thing. CB added that the flowers are, she depicts on the young girls she paints bloom out of the scars they bear. The flowers represent the girls overcoming past traumas, or at least their desire to do so. Everyone can see how talented she is. I couldn't be more different. Wait. Holy shit! Oh, fuck you, baby. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Oh. Oh, good. That's not foreboding at all. Who's there? Sorry for the late reply. I fell asleep. Emi Emily. Emily? You alright? You asleep? You still awake? Sorry if I woke you up. Didn't see you at your job yesterday. You still not feeling good? Take You taking your meds? Don't worry about it. How are you feeling? I'm okay. I can actually kind of get some rest now. Didn't mean to scare you or anything. Seriously. Don't worry about it. It's all good now. All's good now. I'm still a little tired, but I'm going to get up soon. <sighs> That's a relief. Okay, you're worried about... Ma'am, I don't think your priorities are straight. Like, I would be like, where the fuck? What the fuck's going on? Why is my friend... Why am I locked in this creepy building? On my own. What the fuck is this even? What's Oh, okay. Good. You're starting to ask questions that actually... Why all the sticky notes? Sticky notes. Loser! Stupid! Liar! Crazy! Cry, baby! Ugly! I hate you, dumb! Go away! She never said anything nice. Okay. Child abuse, neglect, and Kettenstad. A recent statistical survey has shown the rate of child abuse in Kettenstad last year was nearly double that of the average in other developed nations in Europe. Also, this is... Is this set in Europe? The recent economic strife and its resulting poverty are thought to be the cause. <sighs> My mom loved me. Aww. This is gonna be fucking sad, I can already tell. This is going to be unbearably sad. This is gonna, this is gonna, this is gonna break my heart, I can already tell. <laughs> you guys ready to see me, uh, ugly cry? Or something? Antidepressants. I've taken enough medication. Oh, this is going to be fucked up, ain't it? No. This is all your fault. Bad things happen because of you. you. I'm sorry. Oh shit. Bro, this I'm shit sorry. is intense. Holy fuck.
What about Anita? What? Didn't look so hot the other day. What about you, Anita? I'm fine. You don't have to worry about me. Well, obviously I'm gonna. I'm taking my meds. Meds are good, but what about therapy? That doesn't really do much, to be honest. Talking to the adults doesn't help. Some of our classmates were hospitalized. You don't have to do this alone. I know. I'll let you know if I need anything. And those guys deserved it. They feel bad, you know? All of them. to the evil place now. something. You hear? I'm in the studio. As I'm once to hear, are you okay? Dean suicides continue to continue at infamous building. A rundown apartment complex in Kettenstad has become known for its suicides. With teenage girls jumping from its roof particularly every year. Roof particularly every year. Despite repeated, repeated events, the building, abandoned ever since the development management company, declared bankruptcy remains easily accessible. The young and unemployed are not deterred by the building's grim reputation, though, with many continuing to enter it, and young graffiti artists using it for their work. Meanwhile, Local residents' security concerns grow, continue to grow. Please, not Maya too. She has been acting weird lately. <laughs> Cherry blossoms bloom within the grasp of death. With most flowers, the rot sets in, then they fall. That's the price of new life. Not cherry blossoms, though. They bloom beautiful, they fall beautiful. That's how I want my life to be. Is she not replying? Come on! I have to find her. What? What's with the... What's with the chase music? Wait. 
Inside the fog of social media, solitude and anxiety in teenagers. All of the teenagers interviewed said they were ashamed of the risque selfies they posted online. They also claimed they experienced anxiety over not getting any likes on such photos. With all of the kids had, what all of the kids had in common was extremely low self-esteem. The greater their anxiety and lower their confidence, the more pronounced their reactions were to positive attention. The sense of fulfillment they experienced after giving a like on getting a like online is difficult for adults to comprehend. Furthermore, even when acknowledged, the teenagers still could not view their actions positively, and reacted aver, reverted quickly reverted to despair. Oh. Excuse me, seeking more attention to fill the void. Teenagers who are not yet psychologically mature run the risk of experiencing this toxic quest for validation. Oh, the famous suicide spot. Uh, oh, this is this is fucking horrible. Fully expecting some shit to like pop out at me at some point. Okay. Hold the fuck on a sec. <laughs> I need to hold my butt on for a second. Holy shit. But I'm in there. Probably not an appropriate joke to make in a game dealing with suicide. <laughs> Self deprivation jokes, yeah. Um, wait. Oh, this fucking bullshit asshole, eh? Oh, creepy. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck you with the light. They feel bad, you know, all of them. By the way, any thought, any more, thought any more about college? I can't do it. You don't have to decide right away. So, once you're at college, are you not coming back here? No way, I'll, occasion I'll come back occasionally. My parents would give me shit if I didn't come home for breaks. But yeah, just give college some more thought, okay? I told you I can't go, it's not for me. Studying isn't my thing. I told you I would help you. It's fine, I can't do anything. Don't know what I'd do if I got in. You're too hard on yourself. Be proud of who you are. Wait, what about those drawings you showed me? You could audit in an art class. It could lead to a job. Only doesn't get it. Gotcha. So he don't really like this place. I get it. People in this town say graffiti as nothing but trashy doodles. And my classmates talk about me. Might not be a bad idea to leave town, actually. The great thing about graffiti is the world's your canvas. And as long as I'm with you, I can have fun anywhere. There's no way out. Here is this your studio? So look 
There's... Are these Maya sketches? These aren't even finished. And they look this good. They seem happy. A new life. So full of life. Is that supposed to be her? Did you post this too? <laughs> Even more followers. I lost followers again. Some new followers here. stuff like this to get as many likes as Maya. Wow, sexy! Loving it. Stop with the boring photos already. No sexy stuff. No followers. This is fucking depressing, holy shit. I knew it. From the villa. Why did she have to die? Maya's dead? Wait. Is that what the monster is? Maya's really dead? Woo! 
Holy shit, what the fuck is that? He's got his fancy shoes on though. Spooky scary things, Anita. Don't you do it to Didn't I die? You find it? Find what? Can't leave till you find it. This really you, Maya. Can't leave till you find it. Is gonna play some, have something to do with something somewhere at some point with something and a thing with stuff. Okay, let's go. Oh no, my battery. Oh, fuck yourself. Fantastic. I love it when I've got no uh, flashlight in horror games. Makes all the horror of the horror game even more horror than before. Wait. Oh, 
Okay. What the shit? Children who turn trauma into tales. Solitude and anxiety in teenagers part two. All of the teenagers surveyed suffered from deep psychological issues caused by past experiences. And interestingly, all of them conceptualize these issues as grandiose stories of sorts. One girl placed herself in the role of a tragic hero, convincing herself she was at the mercy of an abusive stepmother, and that her loving real mother existed elsewhere. Another girl viewed her childhood scars as st stigmata, believing those scars would bloom into beautiful cherry blossoms. Oh, excuse me. These convenient tales in the face of extreme adversity are born out of a deep desire to escape unbearable pain and self-hatred. The greater the trauma, the more grandiose the stories surrounding it. Wait, it's back on? How could somebody do this? This shit. Heart sucks. Where should I have seen? Some people really have nothing better to do. Wait. I bet it was these guys. Holy fuck. Fuck you guys. Get the fuck out of my way. The fuck out of my way. I'm gonna go do shit. You guys can't stop me. I'm gonna go look in the bathroom. Sir, I'm trying to take a piss, do you mind? What the fuck? So, is Anita dead too? Is that what this is? to me, but you're leaving me behind. What she talked about was a book she read recently. Still, I feel guilty about for what happened. Even if she didn't tell me anything, I should have known something was up. Did Maya really not say anything? Like, at all? <laughs> so what'd you think of the book? The author killed themselves when they were young. Something beautiful from something tragic. It's kind of enchanting, isn't it? I wonder what they were thinking right before they died. Anyway, I didn't think you'd share your thoughts in a letter. You really are shy, aren't you? I actually kind of like that, though. You write in a really flowery and passionate way. I can't wait to read more. Oh, oh 
Okay. Letters. If you want food, do what I say. If you want food, do what I say! In Japanese culture, there has long been a sense of beauty and sacrifice with the harakiri killing oneself by slicing one's stomach. What the fuck? Being a prime example, the idea was that by taking your own life, you symbolize purge. You symbolically purge the world of your transgressions and purify yourself. This concept can be confusing to many Westerners with young people incorrectly assuming the Japanese yearn for a beautiful way to die. Modern Japanese people, however, do not view suicide in such a positive light anymore, and the life they value is not the biological variety, but rather a social one, where death is needed to protect that life. What the fuck? Okay. Then. I read that already. How did that room open up? Was that was this room open before? It was not. This is new. Belief in the Witch of Kettenstad. Those who believe in the Witch of Kettenstad share many practices with modern Wiccans such as praying for a bountiful harvest and goddess worship. What sets the practice apart is its slight blend of Western and Eastern customs. As for what led to the mixing of customs, there is one rather creative theory. During the joint efforts of Japanese and German entrepreneurs and laborers in the 1930s to foster economic growth and prosperity, there was an exchange of cultural beliefs, giving rise to the belief in the witches. Wonder what those guys are talking about. Fortune telling? What the fuck? A lot of people are getting into that. Huh. You don't believe in that stuff? Well, I think there's something real about it. My great grandmother was a fortune teller. I hear people here used to treat her like some sort of prophet. But they all eventually turned on my great-grandmother. Guess you can predict other people's futures, but not your own. be real honest I am sort of lost right now like not in the physical sense but in the mental sense This is Jeff the Killer. It's fine. December 23rd, 2020. I haven't been able to study since my brother came back for Christmas break. He's nice and doesn't interrupt my studies or anything, but I can't stand him staring at me. I know he was probably just messing with me back then, but I've been scared of him ever since. It's made me hate any guy looking at me. I can't believe other girls walk around school and sh in town showing so much skin. 
February 21st, 2021. I think I'm finally finding my steady study groove. My test scores are really good. I'm worried about how much my parents are fighting recently. Though, we're yelling at each other again today. I asked my mom why, but she wouldn't say. This is it. Test day tomorrow. Mom told me I should be proud of myself since I've worked so hard, so I'm feeling great. She's not my real mom, but I know she loves me, and I love her. Mom, I'm going to ace this test tomorrow for both you and Dad. North River. Fuck you, Jeff the Killer. You a bitch. Uh, Dashlin University School of Medicine Orientation. Dear incoming freshman, welcome to the Deutschland uh, Medical University. Founded in 1709, DMU is one of Europe's oldest and most revered institutions. Its state-of-the-art research facilities eagerly await your arrival. Orientation details, September 24, 2021. Uh, School of Medical Central Lecture Hall, please wear a mask when attending. This is for the college Amelie wants to go to. Amelie, that's how you pronounce it, okay. Hey, Nita, you got a minute to talk? Sure, what's up? You seem kind of out of it before. If something's bothering you, you, need, you can let me know. No, don't do that. I haven't left my house on Fizzy River, plus my brother's coming here. Yeah, I'm just gonna try to avoid him as much as possible. So shopping, yeah? We can find you something cute. No, I'm good. I'm not a fan of crowds. Nothing looks cute on me anyway. Stop talking like that. You're way too hard on yourself. You've got the looks, you just need to find the right outfit. Too hard on myself, huh? Amelie's the only one who thinks that. Finally focused on my studies, so I think I might pull an all-nighter. It won't be good for my skin. I can just hear people calling me troll and nerd, but I don't care. I have to make it to college in the city. Mom and Dad are counting on me to do well. I'll make them proud by getting into my first choice. Alright, time to hit the books till morning. Dad was talking about how there was a plan to rebuild the town. They were going to use a bunch of funding from China to turn the town into better something better. But everything got cancelled because due to COVID. Sure, it would have been nice if it had gone through, but I just couldn't see it happen. Even if things had worked out, not in this place. It hasn't been special since I was little. There's nothing to do. The buildings are ancient. It's a dump. My future isn't here, it's in the city, where college life is waiting for me. Everything's riding on my entrance exam next year. Oh shit, excuse me again. I have to get out of here. I have to get out before my brother comes back. Oh, so this is Mealy. Or Amelie, or however she pronounced it. I'm really bad at remembering names. I don't even do that on purpose. I'm just naturally bad at it. Jokes on you! I'm anti-social! I'm not really, but <laughs> I, I can't be. I mean, I think, I think at times most people can be. Because I think everybody gets that, you know, mood where you're like, I just don't want to talk to people. I just want to go, I want to sleep for seven years. So, I'm going to go sleep for seven years. Have a nice day. Um, August 24th, 2021. I got some materials from my first choice in the mall today. I'm going to be a college freshman. I'm so, so happy. I can't believe it. Mom, Dad, I'm going to study my ass off and be the best daughter ever. Thank you so much for everything. Mom and Dad are yelling at each other. They're talking about bankruptcy. Wasn't everything supposed to work out even without that rebuilding plan? So this means they're out of money, right? 
Does this mean I can't go to college? All of that, all that hard work was for nothing? No way, don't leave me, Mom. I can't stay here. I can't be stuck here with my brother. Mom just left. She told me to get out of the way. I have to get out of here. I want to disappear. But where would I go? This is all a bad dream. This is all a bad dream. This is all a bad dream. Only hated the way her brother looked at her. I bet she wants to leave to get away from all that. Your student found dead. Possible suicide. Oh, don't tell me Amelie's not alive either. At around 10 a.m. on the 24th, a local s resident reported seeing an 18-year-old female high school student fall from the top the roof of a Kettlestad apartment building. The girl was rushed to the hospital but was pronounced dead two hours later. According to school staff, the girl was distraught over not being able to attend college due to troubles at home. Oh, fuck off. No note or diary was found, but police still believe her death may be a suicide. Amelie's not like this, though. Right? Oh, bro, don't tell me she's dead, too. Is everybody I'm talking to in this game fucking dead? Fucking Depression Simulator 2024. Holy shit. Okay, is there any... Was there anything over here? Let's go in the trash room first. Yeah! Hello, trash room. You are a room full of trash. This is all your fault, everything. You, you're a heartless bitch. You stole my only friend. My place in this world, all of it. And you don't even care. I'm invisible to you. I fucking hate you. You're not, you're not talented, you're not special. You call those shit stains art. You came out of nowhere and ruined everything. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, uh, fuck off, fuck off. Get the fuck out of my life, you piece of shit freak. Wait, okay, so... I feel like... I feel like Emily... Uh... Took her own life because she felt like um, Maya stole her friend. Is that what I'm getting from this? And then. And then Maya took her own life because she didn't get the approval that she wanted. Or that she was going after. I'm not out here. I'm not I'm not out here. I'm a figment of your imagination. Keep singing, it's fine. Woo -woo -woo -woo. Don't you fucking open that door and start chasing me, you son of a bitch. Don't you fucking do it. I will do absolutely nothing because I'm defenseless and have a cell phone. <sighs> okay. We're going into the spooky door then. Well, this is uncharacteristically not dingy. It's been 84 years since I've been to school. I thought that said milk. We're at Milk University, guys! Oh, this can't be good. This cannot be good. Dumb. Fuck. Did you throw a shoe at me, bitch? 
Are you serious? A shoe? All of these things you had here and you fucking took off your shoe and... Go away! Okay, see, his thing made sense because it was a water bottle. Who takes off a shoe and throws it? <laughs> I'm gonna grab my shoes and throw them back. Slut, you're a fuck. You're a freak, cocky piece of shit. Wait. Okay, no, 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 no. That wouldn't make sense, would it? I'm gonna pee in every single one of your cereals. What the actual shit? Bro, Silent Hill really makes you fucking trick. Shouldn't I be running at this point? Like, I'd be freaking the fuck out and like just sprinting. It's probably time to go. Oh, we got... What the fuck are these? This fight... I don't like you at all. You're weird and... You make my bones prickly. Give me a prickly sound in the back of my bay, the back of my face. Hey! Aww. Well then, first death. Oh, do not tell me I have to start over. Okay. Does the signal get better the closer I get to where I'm supposed to be? Wait a second. 
Let's see here. I'm gonna do an experiment. I wanna see if the closer I get. What am I supposed to do? Damn it. What happens if I go back? All right, there is no going back. I have to go through here. Okay, just don't think about it breathing down your neck like it's currently doing. Right there. All right, guys. I think I think that that's gonna do it for this. Oh, wait, back up from the door. Shit. Um. I think that that's gonna do it for this video. Uh. <laughs> this game. This game is fucking hard. Okay. This game is really difficult. But um. I'm gonna continue this fucking butthole clenching, butthole clench inducing game uh, in the next video. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs>